So this here is my bell board. I've had this set up here for quite a while. It's gone through multiple stages, multiple changes over the times. I've got these four buttons here, which are supposed to ring. Hey, that one worked. Um, ring the bells. However, most of them have quit working except for this one, which is surprising. And it just doesn't really look visually appealing. We've got this bell just on this bracket, just hanging out here. We've got this one just kind of off on its own with a big crack in it, piece of wood down here. These two look pretty nice, but still I think we can do a lot better than this. I even have a bell that isn't even attached to anything, which I would like to get that going as well. So I'm thinking complete rehaul of the bell board. And what that will entail is we'll take all these pieces out and use this piece of wood, maybe turn it up on its side and put it up here or somewhere where all the bells are nice and lined up. And I also want to kind of hide the wires along the back so that we don't have this complete utter mess of wires just hanging out right here because that looks that looks really bad. And we're also going to remove these buttons and rebuild a new button panel for the bell board. So let's go ahead and get started. And now all the bells have been removed. So we can get to this piece of wood and we can get down to the actual piece we're looking for, which is this big one right here. This is what we're gonna be replacing the bell board with. And you know what? It will mount very nicely right here. No guarantee that that's where it's gonna go and it's gonna be permanent home, but it'll also cover up all this down here, which a lot of these wires are gonna go away now that I'm pulling this out. And here we have all of the bells and the new board that we're gonna put them all on. I honestly don't wanna tear this bit up because I do like what I did here. Oh well, sometimes you've gotta make sacrifices. But let's go ahead and see how we're gonna mount all these bells on here. Okay, so we have all five of the bells mounted on here. We've got the three custom little bell solenoid things. They're not actually solenoids, but the little ringing bits mounted. And what's great is I was able to use the old ones that I made previously. And this is gonna work great when it's down like this. These two will be hooked up with the wires in the back. What we need to do next, I've got some wires already on here and these motors are already really janky. So we're gonna just bring the wires around the back and then work on a wiring system. So as for wire management here on the sides, I've got these uh, kind of old and rusty nails. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of these little guys, I'm gonna push these down and nail one of these here just to hold it in place, keep it organized. We can see here, here's our connectors. We have our common positive, all the bells, and then a negative up here. Got a spot for a battery here. And then of course we've got all the bells on the front. So next week in the next video, we're gonna build the controller, which will hook up to this. So it'll be like a panel of buttons so we can control each bell. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next one.